welcome to the first episode of How Hard Can It Be? The idea here is that we will be tackling the sorts of projects that you might expect to tackle around the home uh, with no experience. And the, the ultimate objective is that we're going to figure out how hard some of these projects are for someone who's never done them before. First episode, we're going to be exploring replacing edge banding. Uh, I've never done it, but I had some on, in my home that needed to be replaced because it was peeling off and was chipped. Um, and I, I did get started a little bit earlier by peeling off the bulk of it, but you'll see in a moment where we pick up. By this point, I've already peeled off most of the, the existing kind of edge banding, uh, but you'll see here I'm going to start to tackle it with my chisel. Um, most of it peeled off very easily because it had been extremely poorly applied. But to get the remainder of this off took a little bit more work. Uh, I was just working very carefully to keep the chisel flat against the surface and to make sure that I wasn't digging into the, the piece of veneer that I did not want to take off. Uh, key here is I think a sharp chisel and just taking your time and working slowly in kind of small chunks. Um, but after after time I was making some decent progress. Then after about 15 minutes of working away, it looked a little bit better and you can, as you can see now it is completely clean. Um, we just have a bit of a pile of, of junk and old scraps at the bottom. Uh, you'll see in a moment here kind of what I was able to peel off. And some of it's in big chunks, but all of it's just a lot of little pieces. Next up is prepping the new edge banding. Um, I didn't cut it to length, I kind of left it much longer than I needed, and I just started taping it on. I only made it kind of flush at the top. Uh, take your time on this, I did, to make sure that it was lined up as perfectly as it could be, and to make sure there was no kind of bumps or lumps along the way. Uh, so you've lots of tape and I made sure to get it nice and tight. You can see I'm kind of pressing it down there. Um, I had good results by making sure it was kind of held well in place. As I worked down the post, I kind of got a little bit faster as I went down, uh, but mostly it just took me, you know, four or five minutes to tape all these pieces on. Notice as I approach the bottom here that I left the tail on. What I did to make that nice and square and as perfect as it can be was I just took a ruler and I pressed it down so that it kind of, I pressed it down firmly and it ended up at the very bottom a nice crease. Uh, then I just used a knife to cut it off and that worked very well. Uh, make sure it's a metal ruler or anything kind of sturdy with a straight edge that you'll be able to press down. The way I applied or heated the edge banding up to stick it was using a heat gun. Um, the, I think the correct way is to use an iron, which I had intended to use, but when I went to do it, my iron was broken. Um, and because I wanted to get this on right away, I decided to use a heat gun, which I did have available. I wasn't sure how it was going to work, uh, but I was, it worked really well. It was pretty much instant. Um, and I, you, you can see I'm using a dishcloth there, which I used to kind of press it down and make sure it's nice and firm. Even after just a few seconds of heating it, you can see I'm peeling the tape off already. It was it was extremely like firmly adhered. It was much better than whoever had done it previously. Uh, so I was really happy with how it worked. So if you don't have an iron or you do have a heat gun, uh, or you're worried about damaging the surface behind it or beside it, the heat gun seemed to work very well. You may notice some bubbles in here as I'm kind of heating it. Uh, I'm pleased to report that those kind of just went away as I heated and pressed it down. I may have been able to do a better job of taping it, but it didn't end up affecting the finished product in any way. And when I was finished applying the edge banding, this is what it looked like. Uh, it looks much better than it did before. It looks flat, it looks smooth, it's not peeling up anywhere at all. Um, 
the only thing we have left to do is you you can't really see here but it's overhanging the edge slightly so you'll see in a few moments I got my chisel out and I use that to kind of trim the edge um, that worked effectively there's a tool you can use which actually does this but I didn't want to buy it just for this one project and so I, I gave this a try and since it worked so well I'd recommend it you may want to be extra careful when you're doing it because I did damage it in one spot very slightly, uh, but it doesn't really affect the finished product, which as you can see, looks, I think, pretty good. And based on how good it looks and the fact that I've never done this before, I say that pretty much how hard is it? Two out of 10 is pretty easy, uh, but a little bit tedious. I think anyone could do it and save a bit of money and kind of, if you have any damaged cabinets around your home, it's an easy, cheap way to fix them up and make them look great. If you did like this video, please subscribe to my channel. We've just bought a home and I have a long list of projects to work through. Most of them I've never had any experience doing, uh, but I always say, how hard can it be?